So um, I went to a meeting a little while ago and I ha actually spoke with a franchise owner. He owns a franchise company, a uh, franchise, a type of franchise company. And um, he had some a piece of paper laid out on his desk and it said goals. And it had a list of five to seven bullet point goals that he needed to expand his company. So I see the paper and I'm like, oh, wow, what's this? He's like, oh, those are my goals. Uh, my franchise area developer came over and decided to help decided to figure out what my goals were and gave me these four or five action steps with how I was going to figure out how to reach those goals. So he made a great point and that's kind of just what I wanted to say today. And his point was that you can want to do certain something, you can want to do something, you know, you can want to be an entrepreneur, you can want to open your business, you can want to you know do all these things but in order for you to actually attain your goal you kind of have to map it out and if you don't map it out you're what okay and if you don't you that'll be done in five minutes oh you say you'll be back in five minutes oh okay sorry guys so you can you can have a goal mapped out whether that's starting your business or securing funding for your already existing business or you know building your team and figuring out um, or your end goal could be that long term investment that you want to do that real estate investment um, you know whatever that end goal is you're gonna have to map out from where you are now how to get to that end goal if you don't map out that process even if that map isn't correct. From the day that you map it out and you're constantly tweaking it, if you don't map out that process, you're never going to be able to reach that end goal. And what you're going to do is work in circles. Take it from me, from somebody who has worked in circles in the past. Working in circles is not a great thing. So where am I now currently today in my business? Currently today in my business, I am building my online platform and trying to build out digital products. So I know what my end goal is, right? I know that my end goal is I want to be able to have some type of platform that as a new entrepreneur, new business person, or someone that looks like me, right, minority, urban, grew up uh, without not too much knowledge on college or education, someone that looks like me, that fits my profile, that grew up the way that I grew up, I want them to come onto my platform because that's probably who I'm going to attract, right? That's my audience, my target audience, my ideal customer, right? That's all part of your map. So now I told you you need a map, but now I'm breaking down what that map is gonna take. That's all part of your mind map. Let's call it a mind map. So if I know what my audience is, and I know what my end goal is, and I know that end goal is to have some type of platform for every one of those types of entrepreneurs to come on and learn. Whether you're a new business owner or you're looking, or an experienced business owner looking to develop your business, it's something about developing businesses and us creating something tangible that is is like it's like a high i don't know how to explain it it's like a great feeling when you create something and you you watch it work successfully and when you do that with your businesses you start to kind of have a knack for creating so in your mind map you're going to need to know what your end goal is what exactly are you trying to do and what are the little baby steps that are going to take you to get there because if not if you don't map it out you're not going to be able to reach that end goal right how can you reach that end goal if you don't even know what it takes to get there how can you reach that end goal if you don't even know how much money it takes to get there how can you go for business funding, you know our business funding event was last week, if you don't even have a goal or a mind map or an idea of what you wanna do? You would be surprised how many people reach out to me and say, Carmen, I want some funding, can I go through the process? And I say, okay, do you own a business? No. Do you have a job? Uh, currently unemployed. You know, they, they kind of don't have anything set in stone where even if they did access funds within the next 30 to 60 days, they don't even have any, any kind of real plan for the funds. So I don't wanna discourage that type of person What I'm gonna tell that type of person, and they may not know, and they may need to hear it from me. What I'm gonna tell that type of person is, we can start and bring you through the funding process, but in the meantime, what you're gonna to have to do is think about what you're gonna use for that funding, how are you gonna build your system, and what is your end goal? You can work and work and build a brand and, and start branding and, and create audiences and have events and do all, you can do all these things, 
but if you don't have an end goal and not understanding what you're going to do with the pieces you're putting, then it you're going to work in circles and you're going to get really tired really fast and you're going to keep going like this and working in circles again and again. And again, anything I ever speak or talk about comes from my own personal experiences. I've worked in circles again and again and again. Why did I work in circles? I'm going to circle back to the beginning of what I was saying in the live. Why did I work in circles? Because I never ever clearly mapped out exactly what I wanted to do and exactly what my goals were. Once you map out what's going on in your brain, your thoughts, your vision, your ideas, once you map it out, you can literally build it. I literally went to Home Depot, bought $20 cans of whiteboard erase paint and painted my own wall. Is it a little ghetto? Yeah. Did I care? No. Did I use it again and again and again and again and again to try to map out what I was doing, what I was working on, what step one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to 10? At one point, I was taking post-its and writing the post-its and trying to put them around so I can understand how the pieces will go from one to the second. If I didn't map out what was going on in my brain, how could I make those thoughts or ideas come to life, right? It has to be tangible. So I knew I wanted to educate and I knew I wanted to help new entrepreneurs and new business owners because in my field, on the, the people I grew up around, they didn't know business. I seen a girl at a bar a couple weeks ago and she's a bartender. She's like, Carmen, I remember you being 18 years old talking about open businesses. And she's like, I'm so proud of you. Like, you actually went through it. So a lot of that comes from being able to sit down and discipline yourself and do the right things that you need to do. But before you can do any of that, you have to map out your brain. What's your vision? Where, where are you going with this vision? What do you want to do with this vision? What are you trying to accomplish? And I'm not saying it has to be set in stone because you can, you can map out your vision and your goals and what you want to do and you can map that out and it can change and tweak and that's okay. But as creators, as entrepreneurs, as business owners, when we see something we create come to life, it gives you life. So although it's overwhelming to go through the processes of creating and the, you know, the ups, the downs, the fuck ups, the mistakes, all that stuff, although it's overwhelming to go through that process, when you actually reach the end and you create something that's tangible and actually making, whether it's making you money or you're just breaking even or it's only making a little bit of money, you're not even breaking even, it still generated $1. Your idea that you put to vision generated $1, even if it's $1. So... A lot of that is going to be able to be laid out by you mind mapping. So mind map your goals. A couple of tips for mind mapping is to figure, start at the last place. Where do I see myself? What type of person do I want to be? This business owner owning this. Real estate investor owning here. Where Put that last end goal, start there. Leave a huge space and then go in the beginning. From the beginning of where you are now, leave that space and allow yourself to draw within the middle. And sometimes the first time you draw it out, it's not going to be correct and you're going to need to keep tweaking it, but that's okay. It's better to have one map or one drawn out idea than to have nothing. That one map, you may need to change it 10 times, but however, if you're changing it, you're gonna see progress. Because in order for you to change it, you gotta go from one to two or two to three. And that's when you'll see in between that, in between that time frame, like, damn, I messed up there. Let me change that right here. And that's how you create. And that's how you build on your businesses. And, done? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were waiting for me. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah. So, I want you guys to really think about that. And that's kind of like the nugget I decided to come on today. Your goals are attainable. People are making them happen every day out here. So, I want you to be able to make it possible too, right? So, in order for you to do that, you kind of have to start with this mind map. And even if you could take going to Home Depot and getting $20 dry erase cans and painting a whole wall in your apartment, you can draw out your map 
you can research along the way in gaps. You can have a gap here and not understand how these two pieces are going to go together and research that and then be able to put it together. There's so many possibilities out there for you guys. I want you guys to really sit down. And that's kind of why I started this whole branding thing. Because I wanted to be able to prove to people that look like me, that come from where I come from, that been through what I've been through, and, and understand that it is possible. I'm living proof that it's possible. And I like to use that storyline because I want to give you guys the momentum to get your own stuff going. I want to give you guys the energy for you to be able to get your own goals, you know, tangible. I want you to be able to lay out your own vision. You think I put these events together for my health? Yes, I enjoy doing events. But I want to build a platform where entrepreneurs, new and seasoned and experienced, can be able to come in and learn how to do it successfully. You know, we don't have our family legacies where our parents build multi-million dollar businesses and give us, you know, a, a, some startup money, you know, or introduce us to their connections. We don't have that. People that look like me that come from where I come from don't have that. I didn't have that. My parents are still broke. You know, so regardless of the fact, but I just want you guys to kind of just every day take these nuggets for what they're worth and build them into strategies. Every mistake when you when you read that corny Instagram caption that all your mistakes are lessons, it sounds so cliche, but it really is because there's some lessons that have made me figure out what that gap was in this in this strategy plan like yeah okay i fucked up there but now i know that this is what i need let me research this little hole right here in my mind map of how to get from here to here but either way i won't hold you up there's somebody waiting on me but all right guys um i'm glad you guys tuned in uh, i got a lot of feedback from yesterday's live for people that were holding themselves back with content if today's mind map nugget helped you in any way shape or form feel free to dm me um i have a little free time today so i'll write back nice to see you guys again you said save this hi blue hi maddie now i feel like he's talking <laughs> all right jk i <laughs> uh, gotta go now um for those of you that missed our um, how to how to secure up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in business funding, our event was last Saturday in Times Square, and I actually have the replay link live now. You can re you can buy the replay for our event. During that video, we went over all the different types of funding programs out there and how to get uh, proof of funding and what type of strategy you need to go down and how to set up your business profile and things like that. So if you're interested in purchasing that link, I'm going to announce it a little later, but I guess you guys are the first to know. But either way, if today's little nugget helped you, make sure you guys let me know. Because i got to get back to work now. Bye.